Having a clear strategic vision with defined goals and resources is key for a company to bring the business purpose to life and stay focused. Given this volatile market, we think that it's key for companies to embrace this change by aligning their internal culture, people and processes. We also face higher demand of key stakeholders regarding greater transparency about the nature and magnitude of risk undertaken. Most of my clients want to talk to me about next-gen technologies, robotics and AI. But for me, digital leadership is much more about mindset. It's about changing the way an organization acts and thinks in everything it does to compete. If you explore new business models, you refine your strategic vision, educate people, foster a culture of innovation and continuous improvement, the business will embrace the latest tools and technology. As an organization, we strive to act as trusted advisors to our clients, seeing beyond the surface of changes and problems organizations face in this fast-changing world and to discover opportunities others might miss. That's how we help our clients to face the future with confidence. We have a digital maturity framework which we use that sort of outlines 36 key areas that organizations need to address. And they cut across strategy, culture, organizational structure and process, the way they go to market, technology and ultimately data science. And organizations need a very balanced approach if they're going to be successful in their digital transformation journey. Our clients in virtually every industry and every size of organization are reminded all too frequently that they operate in what appears to many to be an increasingly risky landscape. The challenge they face span from the rapid change in the business environment, adjusting existing operations to meet performance expectations while competing against market disruption caused by born digital organizations, including failure acceptance, which is still a hurdle for many companies. Organizations have very much gone from worrying about the potential to feeling the impact, and we see that change. So it's very much an awareness at the board level that it's there. But digital risk is also quite different. It doesn't materialize in many cases from the actions that an organization does take. It actually arises and results from inactivity, from a lack of change, from organizations not embracing the latest technologies and change. So actually when you look at things like risk management, you need an approach that determines whether the business is changing fast enough, whether it is doing enough, and therefore good risk management becomes much more about asking whether the business is taking enough risk and trying new things, and not just about risk mitigation and risk avoidance. When we ask participants their views on 30 risks that we consider to be highly significant, the board members classified 26 of those 30 as highly significant. But when we actually looked at the operational management, they actually tended to identify just a handful. Given the pace of change in a digital age, the reality is that it's no longer a matter of taking risks to grow or generate higher profit, it is a matter of survival. And in order to survive, companies may have to take higher risks than they might be used to take. So in order to keep pace with these changes, risk management in an organization should be framed around its strategy. Especially in the light of digitization, it cannot only be avoiding bad bets. Instead, risk management should enable leaders to make the best bets from a risk and reward standpoint that have the greatest potential to generate companies' growth. So if I think about the biggest challenges that most organizations face, including productivity as we move forward, it's really for me one of motivation. Um, one of the biggest risks when it comes to innovative disruption is inactivity. The easiest and potentially lowest risk approach is actually just to continue doing what you've always been doing, at least in the short term. 